Today, our series on green investing takes a closer look at global investments in the green economy. How's it doing? Where's the money flowing to and from? And is investment slowing to a trickle or just beginning to pour in? Timothy Nash is president of Strategic Sustainable Investments. Thanks for being here. Uh, my pleasure, Amanda. Now, no question that this is a kind of a growing phenomenon. Uh, give us a sense of where we are in this, because it's for some people, it's been going on a long time. Right. We talked yesterday to the Toronto Atmospheric Fund. They've been around 20 years. Right. For other people, it's kind of a new space. So yeah. where are we, do you think, in the growth trajectory? Uh, I would say we're certainly still not quite at the point where it's totally mainstream. Yeah. Uh, but we're approaching that point very rapidly. Uh, I, I do a research project called the Green Transition Scoreboard, and we found two trillion dollars invested since 2007. Uh, so, I mean, globally. these globally, uh, and this is private money. Kevin, you'll be glad to know we've totally excluded government investments in this space. And how have those investors done so far? Because much of the premise in the early days of green investing was on the idea that government subsidies would support profitability mm -hmm. for a long term, and that hasn't proven to be the case. Right. So actually, uh, a lot of the investments that are happening are outside of venture capital and private equity and the smaller scale stuff. I've been focused a lot more on green buildings, which is huge, uh, smart grids, which every country is now implementing, as well companies, large cap companies who are making investments in green R&D. Let's talk about the role the government does play, because sure. uh, just about everywhere, it is the underpinning still for many of these industries. I mean, we have great low low cost solar panels because right. the German taxpayer subsidized for many, right. many years the production and R&D that went into that. Mm -hmm. Are we at a stage yet where you could picture governments pulling back from the support of this, these industries or is it too soon for that? Yeah, I, I think for sure, to be perfectly honest, I think that governments are actually laggards in this area. I would say that companies are really stepping to the plate. You've got IBM with their solutions for a smarter planet. You've got GE making a billion dollar a year investments. Uh, you've got companies like Toyota and Audi who are investing billions of dollars a year in green cars. In my mind, where the real action is in this space is in large companies who have a lot of cash right now who are investing in innovation. So the reason they would do that is to feel better about the environment or are they going to profit from it? Because what I'd like to understand about some of these initiatives you're talking right. about that are private, do they reduce costs? Because the only real long-term incentive of people's activity is about money. Right. So does that work? Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's all about improving balance sheets. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, a lot of the initiatives that we're seeing, the low-hanging fruit is in energy efficiency, uh, material efficiency, things like that. Uh, but really where you start to get into the interesting elements is looking at productivity. People are willing to work for companies who are doing positive things. You'll get better talent at a lower wage. If you can save even a few percentages on productivity gains, you're looking at some massive balance sheet improvements. We just had an announcement today uh, from the uh, Conservative government here in Ontario right. saying they would reverse some programs that are in place by the right. current Liberal government. Now, Ontario is only one province, but it actually happens to be yeah. kind of a major one in the green yeah. industries in Canada. Government policy can shift. When you're out there talking to people who are trying to make investment decisions, yeah. where does that factor, the feed-in tariff program is right. the one in Ontario that's at issue, right. where does that factor into the mix of whether they're going to make a long-term bet here? Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I would really caution investors against choosing specific technologies because we don't know who's going to win and who's going to lose. Yeah. So instead, there are much safer investments that can be made. Some of these renewable energy income trusts where you're investing in projects that are already up and running, they have 20-year guaranteed contracts contracts that won't be affected by any change in government. Uh, to be honest, though, I think really we're, we're missing an opportunity if we cut those feed-in tariffs. Uh, Ontario is right now globally seen as a leader in the space. We've created tens of thousands of new jobs that potentially could disappear. In this economic climate, the last thing we want are government policies that are going to kill jobs. Except those aren't real jobs if they're subsidized by government. If they're not founded on the basis of profitability in the private sector, right. They're a sham, and they should go away. It's that simple. And this government's made a promise to its electorate, giving a majority, they're going to stop wasting money like this. So they better deliver, don't you think? Right. Well, I mean, I think that a lot of sectors uh, get help from the government. And although this is one that probably is in its early stage that needs a little bit more help, uh, I think that in my mind, looking at the, at the future, 
this is where things are headed. If we make the investments now, we're going to see the payoffs for the next decades. Are you, are you seeing the effect of the strong dollar helping companies that are making kind of R&D investments, innovation investments in the green space? Is that making any difference? Mm, I really haven't seen anything. Uh, most okay. of it happens kind of internally, a yeah. lot of the R&D. So I think that in terms of export markets, that might start to impact things in the future. Uh, but for now, I don't think it's a real consideration. All right. Timothy, great to have you here. Thank you so much. Timothy Nash, President of Strategic Sustainable Investments. Well, time to change gears now from green bonds to the bond between man and animal.